Welcome to the Your Little Castle Show, where we highlight the best experts that make your home into your little castle. Let's go! Well, welcome everybody. Here we are in studio. Periodically, we have a little uh, team meeting, right? Yeah. Yes. So we're getting the team together. We're bringing back the team. But we're in studio here in the Your Little Castle studio, the Carroll House, Your Little Castle studio. And we got part of the team here, like most of the team here, actually. Yeah. So uh, Hi, everyone. A little, little Hello. start we had. I'll introduce everybody. On our on the far end, the, the, the beautiful young lady we have on the set today is Ginger Dusky. And she is a consultant for us here. Uh, does a great job. So, Jim, I'm, I'm going to, by the way, I'm producing this show live ourselves. There's a little bit of work I do because I can do that. It's mm -hmm. not as cool when we have our producer in the studio, but it is still kind of cool. So, that's Ginger Dusky. And, Ginger, I'm going to go ahead and put the camera on you okay. and then uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm uh, from San Diego and I've relocated to St. Louis. Um, I am a lifestyle coach. I love working with people and helping them uh, make their dreams come true. Um, I'm also a consultant, um, just always out and about meeting people and making things happen. Beautiful. So then also we have another great guest uh, in studio. This has become my number one sales guy. We're actually a little competition now. We have two salespeople now, <laughs> which is cool. But Ox has been just doing some great introductions for some cool stuff. Uh, to help this thing get going and that's that's the key. I mean, I decided to run with this little idea I decided to go no matter what and he and I started talking and then I said hey, man We, we both agreed you want to help me do this thing So Alex is super respected in the community and, and everybody loves him and he knows a ton of people and uh, Professional people that's the key. So uh, Alex if you would please tell everybody a little bit about yourself but uh, I wanted to give you that introduction because I think as a matter of fact here, I'm gonna switch over I, I think that, you know, you do obviously good stuff, but I wanted people to know, you know, you, your background and why I, I decided that I, I think it's a great fit after, you know, we talked about it, obviously. And uh, that just seemed like a, a good way to get this thing going with somebody who has your professional background. So if you don't mind, then tell everybody a little bit about yourself and let's uh, tell everybody who you are. Oh, well, yeah. So, hi, I'm Alex. Um, I basically do some, you know, Consulting in sales here for Carter. Basically, I see a lot of value in what we bring to the table here for, as far as for business owners and for um, promoting their products and their and their services. Um, this is a great platform that really set you know will will separate you from the competition. It allows you to um, really showcase what you have to offer and why a you know client or customer would want to you know work with you. Um, so really excited to take this to the next level and to really help a lot of people and showcase a lot of talents well said well said and uh i'm excited because the key to any success of anything is who you surround yourself with right Absolutely. exactly and uh boy i've had times in the past where i even had some guys who were awesome but they still made some big mistakes i remember one time i had to beg google please don't take that eight thousand dollars in one day worth of accidental display advertising for a big deal we were working on and I sent them like, I'm the Cardinal Cowboy. I do a lot of charity stuff. And I don't know what I said, but they, they go, okay, we'll forgive you the $8,000. Yeah, that's great. Uh, but I mean, hey, you, life is full of that. And if you just plead your case and, and be sincere, but hopefully you don't have those kinds of mistakes very often. And, and again, that was a mistake by somebody who's super professional. Then you get other people that come into life and like don't always represent themselves the, the right way. And we've all have dealt with people like that. But I'm really excited because we've got people that are associated with the show that are awesome, that are top notch that are people that um, I am very confident with that are going to uh, obviously make it to where this is something that we are, are going to win. And we're already yeah. winning. Our first month exactly. with the show has been way beyond what I expected in terms of revenue, in terms of the clientele, but in terms of the sponsors. And now we're just ready to rock this thing. So let's talk about kind of the game plan so people understand a little bit more about what this is about. Because everybody like, you know, I like to hear everybody hear my perspective, but I want you to hear other people's perspective, especially people that I trust and know that what this is all really about and how we're going to impact the community and the things we're going to do to make a difference. So I'll let you guys talk about it. We've got uh, camera number three that will go to everybody here. So let's have a little discussion. I mean, you want to go first. So um, basically, you're getting the cream of the crop. 
wonderful people out there um, that are going to help you and help them get them on the show. Um, always giving back and work with people when you got to talk. Yeah. No, it's... it's <laughs> we need to go over what we're talking about. No, no yeah, no, let's go. Yeah. I'm changing I'll cameras here and everything we got mm -hmm. going. But yeah, I mean, I think what you're saying there is we've mm. been fortunate. All of us have a pretty good reputation within the community. I've been doing this Cardinal Cowboy thing for a real long time. So I just felt like I'm going to start calling people and saying, who wants to be on the show? Right. Um, and it's been yeah. amazing. It's like we started off with some people that were pretty high up. And then we found some people that were even in bigger teams or whatever we're working on with regard to the whole real estate world. And they're like, absolutely, we're in. And it's yeah. grown from there. And, and house flippers, they're like, this, one of the guys we're talking to, I won't say his name because it's not official yet, but he's like, yeah, I flipped 25 houses last month. Yeah, that's right. a lot. I'm like, what? Especially in this day and age and what's going on. Yeah, so talk about some of the clientele with regard to what we're, and, and more of what we, we bring to them, if you would, because absolutely. that's what we're really trying to help people understand is what we're bringing to them, right? Right. Okay. From an overall. Harry, why don't you go ahead? Well, we're bringing them, like, a platform, a show, like, so say you're going to, you know, that, that you want to work with a, a, a real estate agent and you don't know which one to go with because when you, you know, when you sell real estate, you basically do the, you know, do the same things. So with a show that kind of separates you from everyone else um, to say that, hey, we're on ABC. We have been, um, been interviewed and we can now showcase what we have to offer. Right. Because not just everybody can be on ABC, right? That's, that's something that we pick, and there's people that uh, people say, "Well, who are you?" Well, I'm Cardinal Cowboy, I, <laughs> and if you don't know, but I'd say along those lines, let's jump into some Cowboy. of the commentary that you've, you've you've had from some of the clientele. You're, right. And just be honest. I'm not going to tell you what to say, but when people you, tell everybody your intro, your, your hook that you used, that was unique. I hadn't thought of that one. But say, I'll let you take it from there. Yeah. What was the hook you used, and that was the response when people once they got on to see who this person was you were talking about. Right. What was the response? Well, well I would just good. I would just say that hey, you know. It was an awesome opportunity um, that just, you know, came about and, uh, you know, uh, there's this um, local celebrity that is interviewing people and, you know, basically we're trying to show, um, showcase and highlight leaders in the, you know, community. And um, That'll be on ABC. That'll be on ABC, exactly. And so what happened? What, what was the response that people got when they came on? They saw who the celebrity was. <laughs> well, they're, well, probably 90% you know, percent of them were like, ah, Colonel Cowboy. Like, he's... He's recognizable, especially in the St. Louis community. Um, he's he's someone that does a lot of you know really awesome uh, charity and philanthropic work, and uh, he's also very well respected as well. So, well, I appreciate that. And that's something I think is important because, and again, nobody likes to toot their own horn, but at the same time, you have to tell people what the situation Absolutely. is. Some people don't understand the whole thing. Most people don't understand that I do this from a they just think the Cardinal Cowboys is just this big super fan, right? And just runs around the games. Right. They have no idea I, I was one of the top sales guys, number one out of 1,600 yeah. sales reps across the country, lot. number one out of 500. I ran the email systems for But I'm not bragging about that. But those are my little niche things that, that help give me the skills so I can produce a TV show that airs on ABC from scratch, yeah. which saves everybody a ton of money. because, right. And that's really important for you guys that are people that would like to get this kind of exposure. We've got a video out there. It's a hidden link. We don't give it to people unless we want them to see it, but we share it with them. Hey, here's literally line by line because I know I know what we pay for the studio time. I know what editing costs, production costs are, video cameras, lighting, everything that it takes to do a show. We know what that, I know what that costs because I've yeah. done it. And so let's say, but I also know that now because we're doing it all in house, I do the editing. At least for now, wait till we get really okay. going. And, and the big sponsors we've got that are already on there, some of them are on the website, some of them. Have we haven't put any videos together with them yet? But they're already in. Wait till this, and th this thing's going to get to the next level, and that's going right. to be. Where, should have got in with us early on because uh, that's yes. just people have told me, Carter. You, this is, my mom is the most critical person I deal with, and trust me, I didn't like my mom so much when I was a kid. She's <laughs> the one. Oh, guys, she, you kept me in line, mom. She's really direct with me, and it's like that's good, that's good, that's good, that's not. And she, this time, she's Carter. You finally got it all together. I'm old that's by awesome. now. And, but So I should have got it together a lot sooner, maybe. But, hey, we got it together, and this is going to be something I think is going to be very impactful. What do you guys think with regard to all of that? I agree. Um, and I also like that you have, like, package deals. So you're going to be taking care of everything. People that come in here, um, it's going to take all care of all your marketing needs uh, to get your face out there on all different aspects. Um, I'm not the technical person, but you were talking about different things like funnels. So Absolutely. It's, it's a whole package. Yeah, let's have Alex talk about yeah. that because I've – 
Alex doesn't have a tremendous background in this particular niche because it's not what he do, that's not what he does. Right. But mm -hmm. you've learned a lot so mm -hmm. far from what I've taught you. And again, I couldn't begin to come in and talk about what Alex does, uh, has done for his career. But he saw this and he says, hey, I'm a sales guy. I'm, I'm a marketing guy. I'm a consultant. Mm -hmm. Let me bring all of those skills to this because yeah. I just got to learn this niche and really help me. He's done yeah. great. I mean, right. really brought some major players in. We'll get some, we'll share some of those names and yeah. some of those people here shortly. But Alex, if you would tell everybody what it is you see and go into as much depth as you can. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll follow up with, yeah, those are pieces of it. But let me tell you how those work. Cause I've got yeah. internet marketing savvy sales reps. This is why I was right. the number right. one guy in the company because I didn't just, I was a technical expert first. Then I was a sales guy consultant. And, but I said, here's how ROI is calculated. Here's how you track phone numbers down to the keyword. Here's how you A-B split test. I'm giving you some of my yeah. uh, am ammunition there. But if right. you would, tell everybody a little bit about some of those things that you find to be kind of exciting about what we're doing. Well, a lot of people have heard about funnels. And my, you know, myself, I wasn't too versed in it. But if you break it down, think about a funnel. Think about how it's shaped. You're trying to capture as many people as possible and then narrow it down to your target audience. Those are the people that are going to be buying your products and be the ones that are going to be coming back because of what you have to offer. And if we can offer them a solid product that they really can't get anywhere else for the price, it's kind of a no brainer for them. They really have, like Ginger said, the entire package and people want simple. They want it to work. They want to, you know, and they want it for the most affordable cost. And then we, and I truly believe that we bring that. We have a few different options as far as packages go. Um, a couple different studios we use. Um, we use the, uh, the big uh, Hollywood style studio, basically the ones that um, ESPN, Fox, the big guys use when they come into town because they want, they want the best and we also want the best. And so uh, we bring them uh, to that studio and that is one option too, that um, is st state of the art. And so they basically have, again, a show that is produced and they are interviewed um, on that and they can show it to all their um, clients. And then also we build them a funnel page, which again, will narrow down their target, um, target audience. So it's, it's pretty exciting stuff. It's a lot of technical stuff, but Carter's a technical guy. He knows the ins and outs of this industry. He knows the ins and outs of how to market properly and how to market the most efficient. So I'm, I'm really excited to, to be partnering and to take us to the next level. Very well, yeah, that's, that kind of summarizes it. I'm gonna give a quick overview because I wanna give him the, the full picture mm -hmm. real quick. And that is essentially, What's the first thing that, and this is a joke that I probably shouldn't make, so I'll stay away from it, but what's the first thing that somebody must do before they, uh, there's a, you've got a profession, right? And, and, and the, the joke is like, what was the first profession in the history of the world? Yeah. But, but what <laughs> first, first, what must be done before any profession gets to do what they do, right? If they're a doctor, dentist, lawyer, mechanic, roofing specialist, whatever they are, what is the first thing they've got to do before they get to go fix the roof, before they install the, the, the plumbing? What's the first thing that must be done before they go do that work? Anybody want to answer that one? They have to get a client. They have to what? They have to get a client. They have to get a yeah. client, right. Mm -hmm. You have to market yourself. You have to market so yourself. Marketing, right. yeah. marketing was the first ever official profession and marketing is what is absolutely essential. So I, I've talked about it a little bit on this show before, uh, but there's a book by Gary V. Mm. I forget what it's called, but it, it's just bottom of the line. I got it. My dad bought it for me before he mm. passed. My dad's awesome. But bottom line is this, the number one thing you need, absolutely number one thing, most critical before you do anything is you must get someone's attention. Yeah, absolutely. If, if you don't have their attention, nothing sure. else matters. Yeah. This right. is where people get, I get in this discussion about, well, I'm working on my website. I'm like, that's awesome. How are people going to get to your website, right? How are they going to know who you are to get there? Right. Exactly. I had a client, I won't say his name, he's a good friend, and I got, got, got into the thing. I'm like, I just to call him back. He's making a big mistake. But he's upgrading his website. He already has too much business, and he can't do it all because right now there's kind of a shortage for workers. I'm like, how about you do a interview with me where we talk about how you're hiring? Mm -hmm. yeah, that that's would great. take care of the exactly. first problem you have because you have enough work already. The website doesn't matter. You're yeah. going to upgrade your website just to bring in more business that you can't do right. yeah. because you don't have. So let's make it a dual interview where it's not just about your business and why you're so good at what you do, but it's also that, hey, by the way, I'm hiring. 
and get the word out. That's That's another thing you got to do, right? How do you hire people except that you happen to run into somebody like I did with Alex? But nobody knows unless you tell them. I always tell nobody knows anything unless you put yourself out there. You got to tell marketing, 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 advertising. Getting the word out, they call that. Word of mouth, however you want to do it. Mm-hmm. But this is a great looking way that makes you look yeah. professional. You show off your work a little bit. At the same time, you can say, hey, by the way, we're hiring. And when they see the work you're doing, yeah. because this video makes it look great, then they go, oh, by the way, here's the work you will be helping me to perform. In this case, it was yeah, the, some construction stuff. And this is going to, oh, I want to work for that guy. Yeah. Right. So the whole thing would have worked. And then he went off the, he said, I already paid for this thing. I said, technically, Missouri, you have a three-day ride of rescission. If you want to call back and say, hey, man, and I didn't even push him too far because he already made a decision. And then my expert guy who I work with looked at what they were putting together, and he's like, oh, God, they're just making it worse. <laughs> and he's got yeah. other much bigger issues to tackle, which we're talking about. So that's the kind of the consultative perspective you get from us because I've done almost everything there is to do with marketing. Yeah. From a... You have to, yeah, o- you don't, online perspective. Also, yeah, you said you want people to get out there. Uh, they, you get to know who they are, um, what they have to offer, and everybody's looking for different personalities and different types of uh, things that need to be done. So it's very important to be able to get out there and let them see who you are, uh, where you're at, um, what you have to offer. Yeah, people, people relate to you know, others differently. So you may find someone that you really interact well or you guys have common, you know, um, co- common ideas, and then you guys can work well with, you know, with each other. And then others, you find that it's just not a really good fit. Yeah. And, that, and then that's okay, too. It's just on to the next one. And then I almost forget, as I'm talking about all this, there is a the next step of that. Once you've got their attention, mm-hmm. I designed, I, I, was, I, would, I was asked to speak into, in front of the entire sales force as, because I was the number one sales guy in the company. And I said, guys, let me break this down for you and for our clients. So that you can, and I said, here's the six steps. If you really want to break this down, it's six steps for modern marketing, this new interwebs. Have you guys heard about this internet thing? Thank <laughs> Is it, is it catching on? I wrote my master's thesis. <laughs> so I come out of a coma, and then I decided to get a master's degree. And they're like, Carter, take a break. The doctors said you're not going to be able to handle all this stuff. And I'm like, well, let me show. Showed them wrong. Showed them wrong. Yep. Got a master's degree by the time I was 24. Uh, before I was 25, I turned 25 a week later. But, but, I was, <laughs> but anyway, I was still young, especially for what I went through. But my master's was all about this thing called the interwebs. It's called the internet. That was my thesis. And I talked about digital culture, digital literacy, um, marketing, uh, the way this is going to affect our culture. And yeah. all of those chapters I wrote, and I got an A+. Plus. I ran into the doctor teacher later. He was not Dr. Bob Dixon. And he said, I said, I got an A+. Plus. And it's like, everybody get an A+. Plus? Have you turned it in? He goes, no, 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 no. I said, yeah. it was that good? He's like, if it was that good, it was that good. And, I, and it's not that I'm good at everything. I'm good at the thing I want to focus on. And yeah, it, what and you're I'm, interested in. What I have a passion for. I'm one of those guys, that's where my baseball background came around. Because I always had to win. Yeah. <laughs> and I wasn't the fastest, to- tallest, mm-hmm. most athletic, most strongest whatever yeah. but I still found a way to win yeah. and then we apply that to life and you do it the right way within the rules mm-hmm. uh, like we learned from baseball but you do it to, to win and that's what we bring to our clients so that's what I'm kind of excited about so that, let me give you the six steps I should put these up on my 100%. screen and maybe we'll we'll do these but I'm gonna just talk about them briefly and that is one <clears throat> you got to get their attention so that's where you do this thing called Facebook most times it's become a lot cheaper than everything else people are like Facebook's expensive only if you don't know what you're doing exactly right? And, and we show you how to, yeah, <coughs> great stuff. How to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. But you'll want to have a great looking video. That's the first thing. Make a great looking video that makes you look good. Put that onto the Facebook page. Uh, so people streaming. Is, yeah. Whatever. So those kind of go together. Uh, number one is so put something great and, and put it in front of the right people. Two is where do you send them? They got to go somewhere. This is a big problem. We did this four years ago, five years ago. We gave them this great looking video and nobody did anything with it. Yeah, why would they do that? Why not? I'm like, why didn't you put it on yeah. all this stuff? Well, they don't know how to. They're yeah. construction people. Or that's not the yeah. profession. They don't have time either. That, you don't know what you don't know. That's, don't what, know. that's, what, that's don't not what they do. So then you got to put it somewhere. Well, you need a, a website, right? No. Mm-hmm. Stop with the words. <laughs> Websites are very good. Uh, they're actually an awesome way to, to completely confuse your client. <laughs> I mean, like, that used to be the thing. Yes. Well, and I said, by now, put, but now, yeah, there's so many different aspects. And there's so many people. And I'm like, what's a cl- what's a click funnel? Go look up clickfunnels.com. Mm. Go look them up. Click funnels. They have taken over. They have videos out there where they say six. We have proven six times higher conversion for how yeah. many you get. You get ten visits. They'll turn six of them into leads. Normal website gets one. I used to brag about it for a long time. If you yeah. get one out of ten, you're doing good. These people are getting none. I'm yeah. like, well, your site's really messed up. Also, well, I'm saying going? that's that's something that you know a lot about, and you got in with uh, a company, and that's part of the package. So um, that's fantastic. Yeah, well, let's dive into that just for a quick second yeah. while we're here. We're doing our little 
a video about all this stuff, and that is click funnels are key. They're awesome. Do click funnels, but there's an alternative that I bought an unlimited license to because I was smart. Seven, you were. Year, seven years ago because I bought a competitor where they said, if you sign up right now, one-time fee, it was a good chunk of change, but there's no re recurring charges. Yeah. And all of my clients get that now. That saves you 300. If you buy a click funnels, which there's alternatives that are cheaper. So let's just say you go with the one that everybody recommends, <laughs> click funnels, it's $297 per month. That's just for the software for the website. Then you gotta so, have somebody develop it. Yeah, and, why don't you explain a little bit what ClickFunnels are? So ClickFunnels, I'm gonna show. Just a little bit, yeah. yeah let's, let's that's a great them. idea. Show we can show what a ClickFunnels is. I'm gonna switch the, I'm doing the production here while we're doing this. Yeah. I gotta take off my title. because Not everybody's named Carter Rethwish on that. But, <laughs> but um, and sometimes you put that across if it's a guest. But let's uh, let's switch over here. Let's go to, and we're gonna talk about some of your stuff, Harry, but not since um, Alex. I always call him Harry. His last name's Harry. But a lot of Alex's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here is, I'm going to show you, I've got hundreds of examples, but I'm going to show you this page. We're about to put live on the screen here. So I switched to Pip. There it is. Yeah. You can see Alex's other side is behind here, but this is where we share the desktop. This is an example of a funnel. And now we're going to get really techie nerdy on you guys. I'm gonna pull it up on my phone, but this is a That's funnel. Awesome. Notice there is not anywhere to click to go anywhere other than where we want you to go. Uh -huh. There's no about and no list of our employees or nothing, here's our list of products. It's all on one page, very much controlled. And this one's kind of a more of an informational page where we wanna send people so they don't get confused. And then we say, you have no option other than to text or call there's not even uh -huh. a form submission on here i don't want to mess with that so that's what how this thing works but this is an example of a funnel i'm going to show you what it looks like because i can do this a couple ways because i have a tablet in front of me here and so we'll zoom back out to our cameras so that's a funnel what it looks like on the computer screen like a lot of people have here's what a funnel looks like on your phone i, I i'm proud of our little what if we got all our cameras are stills except for the main one it can zoom in so we're going to zoom in it's zoomed in the all wide. Kinds of things. yeah so here we go all but at once. here's your <laughs> here's your little castle and so this is what it looks like on a mobile so we'll go to camera two which is harry that's you so i'm going to be covering you up here for just a second but i'm going to zoom in even tighter there you go but i'm gonna go right in front of you sorry <laughs> right, fine. look at this this is a funnel page that's that same page <laughs> look at that. that's that same page <laughs> look how concise and beautiful and to the point that is yeah. That makes it real simple. The things I want you to click on, they're in big orange buttons. <laughs> this yeah, is how nice. funnel pages and why they are so much more effective than websites. Than a website, yeah. Six times more. Now, don't take it from me. Take it from ClickFunnels themselves. And then it does yeah. look beautiful on a tablet. So, Alex, I got you on the screen there. But um, here is the your little castle <laughs> tablet here we go all right here we go sorry did we get our camera there we go there's what it looks like on a tablet hey it's even nicer and then even the phones are turning into tablets yeah and, and so there's not as many tablets as our our phones and phones are most yeah, your phone. but this is the key to it ladies and gentlemen you've got to get in front of people there's Alex with this. There's my giant. There he goes. Yeah, Alex yeah, needs to pull it up. He's got it locked up. And your passcode yeah. is one, two, three, four, five. That's but, right. But look at that, ladies. That makes things look so much easier. I'm going to harp on that, but it's really important because when you've got a website that confuses people, you wonder why nobody calls you because they're going, well, They don't know what to do. It's not, yeah, it's not super interactive. And then we've got that as included in what we do because it's not $300 a month. It's for our clients, it's included in what we do. Exactly. And that's Which almost is, as important as everything else. Absolutely. And then we throw in the fact you're going to get all the clips. And so we'll go over to here. I'm going to go, I'm going to go switch back to our uh, picture in picture. And that brings up this page again. So see our past shows. Here's an example. This shows our first show. It's going to air Thursday. The marriage counselor was very excited about this yeah. um, show. But there's. So would you say this is, inter I mean, not interactive, but just um, you can <coughs> add things on and um, just keep updating it. Yeah, this, yeah, you're constantly be improving constantly, it. You'll yeah. do A-B split testing, which yeah. is where you have two funnel pages. They look very much the same. That's another thing. And But they, you send traffic, half your traffic to one, half your traffic to the other. Love that. But here's the whole video. But guess what we also give you? This is a cut of all the entire video cut into segments, into se See? snippets. I love that because then you can just put little snippets on your Facebook and um, let those go. Yeah. Most yeah. People just keep doing those. Because, yeah, people aren't going to watch the whole video. Right. 
Yeah, they might see so that thing and they'll great. watch the first minute. I can show you all the stats yeah. about how much people watch, how long they watch, all that stuff. I can, I know that because I've done, I've had over 2.6 million people watch my videos. Yeah. At, for, for the, from the Cardinal Cowboys perspective, and that's just, I mean, I guys, I've done this. this I'm not good at much. <laughs> but, my face is big. But this, but that's what I'm. My face is big. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll zoom that out a little bit. <laughs> but you're not. There that, you the, go. Cam, the actor camera's Woo! that way. There we okay. go. But but yeah, so that's ladies and gentlemen, just a, a, kind of the gist of what this whole thing is. Yeah. And it can be so much more. It's it's so critical for businesses to figure this out because I guarantee the big guys are figuring it out. It is. But the big miss, you know, when uh, people are busy, they're they're wanting clients work with their clients. They don't have time to do all this. So it's great that this is all taken care of, all taken care of for them. Um, all, all in one little suite. All, and, and, and a lot of the clients, it'll be something that they've never had before. So they're really going to see... Um, getting some uh the value getting, yeah the value and getting yourself out mm -hmm. there yeah and it is yeah, right you're, and i just finally decided i had to put it all into one deal that had everything into one package yeah people like inclusive packages and I, I won't say who or what but i have worked with other companies i was like i can show you everything that should be done this mm -hmm. isn't because i'm a genius because i follow the top guys in the world and i figured out what they're doing and we could do it on a very large scale mm -hmm. if you guys listen to me because you guys are very large because right now this kind of thing is only really being done by the small novelty Guys who get it. I don't know how many web developers I yeah. talk to, and they're like, yeah, I've heard of ClickFunnels. And I'm like, how are you still selling garbage websites? They're not garbage. They look beautiful. Yeah. Except they just don't convert. Because right. the, you guys want a bunch of visits that don't turn into business? Or do you want people that come to the website and say, I want to buy your stuff? Well, that, you have all the updated stuff. And then you have the little... Uh Gosh, scanning thing. What are those called? QR codes. <laughs> QR codes. Right. Another QR good. codes too. So it's he's got all the updated things going on in this little. Yeah, we just put that together. So this is actually a brochure. A great. I love it. Yeah, the brochure, which I could put up on the site. Sure. Um, and again, I'm editing and producing the show while I'm talking here because we're saving a little money. We're, sometimes we just do an impromptu show. Yeah. Right. But here is, uh, where is it at? But um, here we go. Hey, so, just put this together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it, I think if you guys watch it, you'll enjoy. So here it is. Well, you know everybody's doing the QR codes when you go into the restaurants because of COVID. So now, and everybody I think knows how to use them now because of that. So there it is. So I'm going to um, put it to camera two. Let me turn off my title and put it on camera two. Okay. Right there. See that QR code at the very bottom here? We have three of them on here. They all go three different places. But yeah. The first one is for Mary. Mary, Mary. <laughs> and so that's Mary, Mary Kay. Kay. She's yeah. one of the realtors we're working with already. She loves what we're doing. She's very excited. I'm going to zoom in a little more just to show you guys. We can zoom, yeah. zoom in. But those so are QR codes, and those are scannable. I'm going to prove yep. it to you. You just put your phone on there. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to prove it to you. Do you want to uh, help him do that? I'm going to try oh. to do it all at once. You're going to do it all at once? Okay. All right, here we go. Some help? Here's my... Here's your phone. Where's my oh, gosh, phone? Can you see it? Where's oh, my phone? Right. going to get it. Yeah, so you just go to your camera, QR code, and then it pops up. There it is. So now what just popped up, we got to move. Yep. Now right. what just popped up? Oh, it popped up and said, go to this website. So I just clicked where it said, oh, it just took me to my yeah, home loan cowboy. And that was how easy it was. Now you took somebody Super had a quick. paper. Now normally they're going to have had yeah. a piece of paper this is on. This is supposed to be printed, but you can, it will scan off of a screen. Yeah. But normally have a piece of paper that's a printed piece of paper. We've got a few of them around here and they've yeah, got QR right. codes. I'm going to grab this one. You're I'm going to put the one. camera on you okay. and that way I'll be out of the shot. And then uh, you're the person that's going to make it easiest for me to get that. So yeah, talk so about QR codes real quick for me. Well, I mean, QR codes, like I Ginger. said, it's COVID. When we went back into uh, the restaurants, they didn't have the um, physical menus, yeah, physical menus mm -hmm. because of the germs. Uh, so you would just go on your camera, scan it, and it would pull up the menu, which is great. And I don't even think they should go back to menus. I think it's just keep it like that because most everybody has a phone. So right. Also, like, why waste paper? Um, again, everybody's got their phones, and it, it'll stay on there, too, and you can keep it. But, yeah, there he's got something he's going to show you. So let's go. I got three, t yeah. three uh, title off. Go to uh, camera two. So this is normally two. what you would so see. So here, here's paper. one of these things, that, and these guys are smart. This is one yeah. of my favorite charities. I work with these guys all, all the time. Defenders Gateway, Little Patriots Embraced. But right here, they know when you print something, sometimes you've got to make it so that they don't have to write down the website. They don't yeah. have to type it in on their phone. They just QR code scan it. Same thing we've got on this piece of, this is a PDF that would print. Mm -hmm. Just didn't print one yet. We just made it last night. Um, but but you don't even well, here we it. go. Here's oh. this. Oh, and there's <laughs> the QR code. It's about making it easy and efficient as possible for the user. Right. Yeah. And so we'll zoom out while we're doing this a little bit. 
But here is that. Which is where everything's going. Mm -hmm. Printed literature. Sorry, I'm covering you up there, Alex. You're good. But yeah, this little piece is now a printed thing that when they scan it, here, let's do it. <laughs> let's let's, do let's, it. let's I'm going to show you guys how this all works. I go, I get the camera. I just put my camera on. I used to be at an app for this. Yeah. And there it is. Bam. Look at that. It just popped up. I click yeah. on the link. So that's how that works. And it goes to my phone. It takes us. Oh, now I'm on the. Bam. This is where their app pops up. Yeah. So that's cool. That's pretty great. cool. And they're taking to their Super app, cool. which they're really excited about for those who've served and, and do EMT and all that stuff. Get a special discount. So check them out. Defenders Gateway. Yeah. All right, everybody, we're about to go over. We've gone over. Damn, I wanted to make it exactly 28 minutes, 30 seconds. We're <laughs> so we're going to have to cut something out here. But, um, hey, check this out. Do we have something exciting? I, I'm very, really excited. Very excited. Absolutely. It's just like it's got it all and packaged into one thing. And then after that works, we got more for you. It's going to explode. Help. Like mm -hmm. I said, the first few clients coming on, getting a really great deal, getting yes. the exposure, getting a big package, and... You want to be one of the first ones to do it. Yeah. And I thought when I launched this, I'm like, I hope this first month makes things work because I put it all on there. I quit yeah. doing a bunch of other stuff and quit my job. My yeah, I believe in it. Little six figure job I quit. And I said, you're going to try doing something else. That ended up not kind of working out. And I said, what can I do? And this is my own thing. It's unique. Um, what can you do to help people? And, and then yeah. we'll see if I can make a living at this. And boy, did we, I had to work yep. night and day. But yeah. the first month already got me way more than I expected. The second month is going to be much more because we already got people lined up. And the third month. Yep. Next time you guys talk to me, you're going to come visit me on my island. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Your I'm going to bring my friends. With a bowling alley. With a bowling alley. But I will <laughs> ultimately, a lot of people know about my coma and everything I went through. I will ultimately build a baseball field for kids. That's my right. passion. That's so great. And I'll pay for it out of what we've we done. Out there. That's and awesome. then I'll go tour the country talking about overcoming my coma and everything that I went through. Yeah, that's a great story, too. All right, so I, I, guys, we went too long there, but we got we got we have covered the whole thing right there. So hopefully, yeah. you guys will spend enough time to watch this video. I wanted to have a couple of people that found themselves to be advocates, I think, because they're one hundred percent, and that's why they're working yeah. with me. Mm. And they are professionals; they're not just like these. Obviously, you can tell that by talking to them and listening to them. So it's exciting to have people like that backing me and want to be part of this. And we're, we're going to working together. We're going to continue to make it something like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll shut up here and get off the camera. But I wanted to share with you guys. Um, what we're working on and give you kind of the overview. And while we were all talking about it, I said, we're here, we're in a studio, we can shoot a video anytime we want to, let's do it. Let's we still do have, it. don't have the producer to press the buttons, so you yeah. guys are watching me pressing the buttons and doing what we do. But still look but, how great it looks. Yeah, but it, but it looks all right. <laughs> so I will uh, give it up to you guys and we'll uh, we'll see you guys again soon. Yeah. Is that cool? Sounds good. Yeah, that's right. Alex Harry, Ginger Dusky, Carter Rethwich, a.k.a. the Cardinal Cowboy, Your Little Castle Studio, the Carroll House Studio. We'll see you guys soon. Everybody, see you soon. have a great time. Giddy up. And <laughs> uh, actually, out. let's go. Actually, I go music, <laughs> music on. So that should be playing in the background now. All right, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Giddy up. <laughs>